So, uh, is anybody here thinking about voting yes? Yeah! I thought so. You kind of look the type, you know. <laughs> I think this crowd, I can expect to have a sense of the opportunity and the excitement that's in the air with the chance that we have to vote next year on Scottish independence. This crowd, I think, will understand the chance that Scotland has to start taking decisions for itself, to take our responsibility, to take our place in the world and to start going our own way, to start taking the, the country in the direction we choose rather than having decisions imposed on us. But we have the responsibility to infuse the whole of Scotland with that excitement, with that optimism, with the ideas that are being generated. You know, there are some people in our opponents who are accusing us, they're suggesting that Scotland is on pause. They're suggesting that the referendum is stifling debate. I think this is the most creative time that I can remember in Scottish political debate. There are ideas being put, there are ideas being put onto the agenda for the future of Scotland that are fantastically creative and new and fresh. And we, I think all of us, understand that when we see challenges and problems with the chronic inequality and poverty that we have in this country, when we see challenges about the need to move away from fossil fuel and exploitation of the environment, when we see challenges about putting our economy to rights in the interest of all of our people, we can't take that as a reason to do nothing. We can't take that as a reason to vote no. The only thing that we can do if we see challenges and problems in our society is to vote yes, to take that responsibility for our own future. Yeah. But I was thinking on the march over here, because I knew I wouldn't have to work hard to persuade any of you of that. I was thinking about how Scotland has changed just during my lifetime. You know, we're on the verge of being able to generate not just all the energy we need, but all the energy some of our neighbours need from renewable resources. What a fantastic change in Scotland. We're on the... You know, we're, we're a campaign. I, I think I saw a Yes LGBT banner. When I was growing up in this country, when I was growing up, lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender people in Scotland were invisible at best, marginalised and even criminalised. This is a different country now than it was. It's a better, a more confident country. A country where we've been able, even with the limited powers of devolution, to start to forge relations with other governments and other countries around the world. We want to build on that opportunity and not only take this, this country forward, but give leadership to the world by putting our ideas into practice in the years to come. This is the opportunity that we have if we can infuse Scotland with those excitement and the ideas that are being generated in Scotland. We can't but make the right decision next year. So go out there. I think not only we need this, not only they're capable of it, I think Scotland's now ready for this. Let's go out and win it. Thank you. Yeah.